good morning students how are you all hope all of you are fit and fine at home so now let's start our social science class and in social science class we are studying subject history in history we are we have in earlier class we have done the keywords and the important dates of chapter number 3 in the earliest cities yes so now what we will do we will do the recapitulation of the chapter in the earliest cities yes so now let's start with the recapitulation of the chapter the story of harappa so what was the story of harappa harappa was one of the oldest cities in the subcontinent which archaeologist found 80 years ago this was the first city to be discovered all other cities were building similar to harappa were found were described as harappan what was special about harappan cities these cities were divided into two or more parts first citadel the part to the west which was smaller but higher was called the citadel second lower town the part to the east was larger but lower was called the lower town the walls of baked bricks were built around each part the bricks were so well baked that they have lasted for thousands of years the bricks were laid in an interlocking pattern and that made the walls strong in some cities special buildings were constructed on the citadel for example in mohenjodaro a very special tank which archaeologists call the great path was built in this area yes some cities like mohenjodaro harappa and lothar had elaborated storehouse so elaborated mean detailed storehouses big storehouses most houses had a separate bathing area and some had wells to supply water many cities had covered drains each drains had a gentle slope so that water could flow through it drains in houses were connected to streets and smaller drains which ultimately led into bigger ones all three houses drains and streets were planned and built in the same time or at the same time now life in the city what was the life of the people in the city harappan cities was a very busy place so harappan city was a very busy place rulers were the people who played the construction of special buildings in the city rulers sent people to distant land to get metal precious stones and other things that they wanted scribes who are scribes who knows to yes who know to write and who helped in preparing seals yes so scribes were the people who knew how to write and help in preparing the seals and perhaps write on other materials that have not survived now there were man and woman craft persons who used to make all kind of things many terracotta toys have been found in harappan cities which shows that children must have played with these toys now new crafts in the city most of the objects that were made and found in harappan cities were of stone shell and metal including copper bronze gold and silver copper and bronze were used to make tools weapons ornaments and vessels gold and silver were used to make ornaments and vessels the harappans made seal out of stone which were rectangular in shape and have an animal carved on them the harappans also made pots with beautiful black designs actual pieces of cloth were found attached to the lid of a silver vase and some copper objects at mohenjodaro archaeologists have found spindle wall made of terracotta and faience 
which were used to spin thread to make thread many of the things that were produced at harappan were probably the work of specialist who were trained in doing only one kind of work yes raw materials in in search of raw materials so raw materials are substances that are either found naturally or produced by farmers or herders raw materials are processed to produce finished goods the raw materials that the harappans used were available locally so locally they all the raw materials were available in the city whereas many items such as copper tin gold silver and precious stones were bought from distant places the harappans probably got copper from present day rajasthan and from oman in west asia tin which was mixed with copper to produce bronze had been bought from present day afghanistan and iran gold had been bought from present day karnataka and precious stone from present day gujarat iran and afghanistan so all these uh, metals tin gold precious stones were being bought from distant places by these people, harappan people now the food for people in the cities what was the food they were eating in the harappan people were eating people living in the countryside grew crops and reared animals the harappans grew wheat barley pulses peas rice sesame linseeds and mustard the plow was used to dig the earth for turning the soil and planting seeds water was stored and supplied to the fields when the plants were growing harappans reared cattle sheep goat and buffalo in the dry summer month large herd of animals were probably taken to greater distances in search of grass and water people also collected fruit like bear caught fish and hunted wild animals like antelope antelope are just like deer now we will talk about a closer look of harappan towns in gujarat first we will talk up the holavira the city of the holavira was located on khadir bath in the run of kutch this city was has fresh water and fertile soil dholavira was divided into three parts each part was surrounded with massive stone walls with entrances through gateways there were there was a large open area in the settlement where public ceremonies were held in dholavira large letters of harappan scripts were carved out of white stone and inlaid in wood which were found by archaeologists in the city of dholavira now we will talk about the city of lothal the loth city of lothal stood beside a tributary of sabarmati in gujarat close to gulf of kambat the raw materials such as semi precious stones were easily available in the city there was also a storehouse in the city workshop for making beads pieces of stone half made beads tool for bead making and finished beads have also been found here by archaeologist now what was the mystery of the end how these cities came to an end around 3900 years ago we find the beginning of a major changes in the cities and what were those changes people stopped living in many of the cities writing seals and weights were no longer used raw materials bought from long distances became rare in mohenjodaro we find that garbage piled up on the streets the drainage system broke down and new less impressive houses were built even over the streets why did all this happen yes students can anyone answer why did all this happen we are not sure that why it all, this all happened some scholars suggest that the rivers dried up others suggest that there was deforestation in some areas there were floods but none of these reasons can explain the end of all the cities 
इट अपीयर्स एज इफ द रूलर्स लॉस्ट कंट्रोल साइट्स इन सिंध एंड वेस्ट पंजाब प्रजेंट डे पाकिस्तान वर एबंडन एबंडन मीन्स हैविंग बींग डेजर्टेड और लेफ्ट वाइल मैनी पीपल मूवड इन टू न्यूअर स्मॉलर सेटलमेंट्स टू द ईस्ट एंड द साउथ so now students we have done the recapitulation of the chapter also so that you can just see this video and the whole chapter you can understand we have done the done the summarization of the chapter so that you could be know knowing it and understanding the chapter 3 in the earlier city more clearly okay so thank you and have a nice day